Hello and welcome to the first of a few Disney vlogs from 2022. I'm a little late in editing these and getting these uploaded, but I hope you enjoy them all the same. This vlog, however, is a slightly special one. For those of you that follow me on social media and have been following me for the last six years, you will know that my best friend is a wonderful man called Scott Page. And again, if you follow me on social media, you will know that Scott Page came with me on my last trip to Walt Disney World with my entire family, because Scott is very much part of my family. I first met Scott in 2016 on the UK tour of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, where I was playing Truly Scrumptious, and he was playing one of the Vulgarian spies called Goran. Scott and I are very like-minded people, and we have a lot in common, but one of the things that we first bonded over was our love of Disney. And ever since we met in 2016, all we have talked about is our dream holiday together to Walt Disney World. Now, we were thinking that this holiday would happen in 10 years time when we'd saved up enough money to go and we had the time in our schedules to make this holiday happen. But then last year, the Disney stars aligned and I had the opportunity to invite Scott along with me on my family holiday to Walt Disney World. But I didn't wanna just invite him and have that be that. I wanted that moment to be as special as I had always dreamed it being. So I devised a sneaky little plan to surprise my best friend, Scott. And this was the plan. I told Scott that I had been approached as an influencer by the Disney Vacation Club. I am not part of the Disney Vacation Club. It is a very real thing. I'm not part of it, but I've been very accustomed to seeing the Disney Vacation Club stands that are around Disney parks. I'll be honest. I don't know a huge amount about the Disney Vacation Club, but all I needed was the name to make it legitimate. I needed their logo to convince Scott that this was real, and I just needed to make him believe that they were offering to send us somewhere in the world, not to Disney, but I told him if we did a good enough job of vlogging this trip to wherever we were going in the world, then maybe the next time around they might send us to Disney World. Who knows? And step one in this plan was just to make sure that he booked two weeks off with his agent. I just needed him to contact his agent and say, I'm going to be away from this date to this date. Make sure we don't book any work for that time. Step two of the plan was also to make him aware that we would be going abroad somewhere and so it wouldn't look suspicious when I asked him for his passport details. I just didn't want him to believe that we would really be going to Disney World because that was the surprise, that was the special thing. So I just needed to make him believe that we were going somewhere else in the world and that place would be abroad. We would have to use our passports and get on a plane, and so it wouldn't be strange if I asked him for his passport details. And so I did. I told Scott that the Disney Vacation Club needed our passport details, and they were going to book us tickets to somewhere on their list of wonderful places where they do holidays, and that they were going to reveal to us where we were going through a treasure hunt that I would need to vlog because that was the purpose of being approached by the Disney Vacation Club. They wanted me to be an influencer and they wanted me to vlog it. So then it wouldn't look suspicious that I had my camera out whilst we were doing this treasure hunt. So I told Scott that my mum, so far-fetched, my mum had been in touch with the Disney Vacation Club and they were in cahoots and my mum had hidden these clues that had been written by the Disney Vacation Club around my house and the final clue would tell us where we were going. Luckily, Scott was so enthralled and over the moon by the fact that we were even acknowledged by Disney in some way that he didn't ask too many questions. So one day last year, I invited Scott over to do this treasure hunt, and here is what happened. Clue number one. Shall I open it? Yeah, go for it. <gasps> Oh my god! What does it say? It says, once upon a time, in a fairy tale land, two knights called Scott and Gary travelled hand in hand. <laughs> they climbed mountains, conquered dragons, and sailed the mighty seas. But next clue is a piece of cake. If that cake were to come with dot dot dot. Tea and cake? Tea and cake! <laughs> oh! Can you see it? Yeah. Oh my god! Right, I'll film and you read this one out. It's all right, it's all right. I've got, sure? it, I've got it, yeah. You have found the second clue. 
because you're both so bright and clever. Clearly a strong friendship that is meant to last forever. Aww. Speaking of bright and brainy, this clue's harder than it looks. I'm stuffing. What? Because it's hiding deep inside one of Carrie's favourite books. But there's like 800. <laughs> How long have we got? Go on in. Is it down here or upstairs? <laughs> oh my days. Is it in there? Green Angel. Oh. It's in here! Thank God, because I can't find the other one. I'm really nervous. <coughs> you found me, you found me. But now you'll have to creep and be as quiet as a mouse because the next clue's fast asleep. The next clue is fast asleep. Fast asleep. Bedroom. I reckon it's in Should your room. Should we room. check this one? My room. <laughs> it room is your room. <laughs> Where would it be? Fast asleep. Oh, I don't want to mess up the bed. It's not under it's here. It's your bed. Ha! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I found it! Is this the one that's going to tell us where it is? I don't know. Because there was the four. We've only had three. So this, this is, is the, the fourth. fourth. Go on, open it. I am the penultimate. The next clue is your last and it will reveal where you are going. So here's your final task. Head downstairs to the place. Hard breath. The next clue is too hot to handle. Be sure not to burn yourself on one of Carrie's candles. candles. <laughs> It's too excited, it's too excited. Oh God. Go on, I believe in you. Scott, even Birthday I can cake. see it. Oh. Move the pumpkin. This? Yeah. Oh, it's a scroll! Okay. Well, because I've done it, you do this now. You've got it, and if I'll, I'll unscroll it, you read it. It says you need to read it. <gasps> Go Scott, on. read me one line at a time. My dearest friend, you found me. This may come as a shock, but don't worry, you aren't going mad. You haven't lost the plot. Can't read. I have a small confession, or a secret, I would say. So keep calm and keep breathing, and, and read on, my friend, this way. <gasps> Do you know about this? Read it. Carrie, you've been lying for months and months on end. But only because you, Scott. Oh my God! Come on. Oh, her bestest friend. What is this? There's no sponsored brand. No. Come on. Oh my it. God! There's no sponsored brand deal. Then uh, they never were in touch. Carrie has been cheeky and being double dutch. Didn't think it would happen this quickly or this soon. Quite this swift. Come on. <laughs> no. You dreamed of this forever. I'm gonna cry! Did you find that in the lift? Oh my god! Thanks to Queen Giovanna and her pod. Oh my god, my eyes! <laughs> and her podcast of Pixie Dust. It would be Fletcher's honour. Oh my god! <laughs> if you would accompany us to the place where the magic can happen, I can't breathe, and dreams were. I can't read it, and dreams can come unfurled. To the place where we'll be kids once more! Oh, God! No! Are we? Shut up! Oh, my God! No! No! Are we actually? Yeah. Wait, was this one? So this wasn't a thing. You You're going to propose to me? <laughs> you know that? Oh, my Open God, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Did you all know about this? I can't breathe! <laughs> oh, my God! So it wasn't a thing that you knew? No, I've been lying to you for months. <laughs> Have you actually? Yes. Oh, my God, what is going on? What is going on? This is outrageous. What oh, my God! <laughs> We're actually going to Florida? Yeah, all of us are. Yeah. All of us? Yeah. Oh the my whole God. family. Oh my, oh, oh, Tom and all the kids. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. It is with huge love and thanks to my sister-in-law, Giovanna Fletcher, her amazing podcast, Journey to the Magic, you should definitely listen to it, and the Walt Disney Travel Company, and allowed me and my best friend to live out our wildest Disney dreams. It really was the trip of a lifetime, and I really hope that you enjoy watching the next few vlogs and seeing the way that Scott 
just turned into a kid again. And thank you for watching this one.